God. Okay, so if you don't know, now you know. I'm like very much tomboy. So I'm going to try to like do myself up a little for these things. But whatever. It is what it is. And I think I look pretty cute. <laughs> I had this like funny ass place in my hair. Anyway, so um, we were at where Joe Rogan is talking to um, Red Bar's watching. If you know, and then you know. If you don't know, then you don't know. And that's it. I was thinking, I'll wait. Hi, Empress, until a couple people get here because then, let's see. Empress, I love you. Glitch. Yo, yo. I'm just going to text like a couple moderators. Yo, I'm live on YouTube right now. I'm about to tear it down. Just kidding. <laughs> do you want to do a red bar though? I love you. Bye. Angela. Who else? I cracked myself up. Okay. Wendy. Wendy. Okay. So wait for I get a few people to get here. My hair is at this funny stage. Oh, guys. So, my shirt. Let's talk about my shirt. You see my shirt? Dorothy, Blanche, Rose, and Sophia. Oh, let me turn off the AC anyway. Dorothy, Blanche, Rose, and Sophia. I don't even know what I'm doing with my hair, guys. Hence my ball caps constantly. Um, Golden Girls is like my favorite show of all time. Until I found out Betty White was like a fucking crazy person. That's not so much my favorite show anymore. Angela, I messaged you back. Let's see. When like seven people get here, I'll press play. I'll press play. Aspire. Hello, hello. Big Texas gravy. Glorious. Yes, it will be. But I have to fix the light anyway. So that's how that goes. That's how that goes. I was texting with Chad Zoom off a little while ago. And I called him and he didn't answer my call, Chad. I'm going to turn off the air, the air conditioner. Yeah, so I'm not cool with like the Golden Girls so much, but I do like the <laughs> Oh, and also, if you don't know, now you know. I'm like a tomboy. So like, this is mascara from last night. I'm just going to make it look cute. All right, I know, I know, I know. I thought about moving this chair, like maybe for future, moving this chair here so I can see the chat. Thank you, moderators that are here. Oh, let me text one more. Thank you, moderators that are here. I was told not so long ago that this was like the best light situation for Mike. Oh, Chris Mack. Chris Mack is in the house. Oh my God. Chris, can you come online if you're home? We're going to do a red bar. Okay. Bye. Um, okay. So I'm going to try next time to move like this chair so I can like sit and see the chat. But usually I can't see the chat, just so you guys know. But I always watch it later when it's ready. Okay. Wait, <laughs> big Texas. What'd you say about Dorothy? Stop it. <laughs> yep, got your messages. I'm so glad you're feeling better. And Dorothy hated cheesecake in real life. Okay, well, Dorothy in real life was... Um, stop it. Don't get me going on the Golden Girls because we'll just keep going. Dorothy was Art, uh, B. Arthur, and she uh, was a lesbian. They're doing the grass outside, sorry. She was a lesbian, which is fine. No one cares about that. But she was also, I went to University of Miami, right? So she lived in Miami, I think. It was supposed to take place in Miami, the show, but it was actually filmed in Los Angeles. Actually, the, the fucking house, the, somebody said it to me, somebody that like knew I was a huge fan, sent me um, a listing when like the house I guess they shot Golden Girls was up for sale and it's actually in um, 
It's near me. Uh, Brentwood. Anyway, um, but I lived in Miami for a long time. They definitely do a good job at like portraying Miami. Okay, there's nine people here, so we'll do it. I kind of want to wait till this guy goes. If you guys have any questions for me, and if anyone knows about the cake thing, someone named B-A-G mentioned that. I think it was yesterday or the day before. Let me know. I'm just going to let this guy. He's going to pass by with his... I still don't get how windblowers were like cool all throughout everything like it was like <laughs> it made zero sense to me i still don't understand like how it's a thing it's like you're just blowing shit around but whatever i don't want to like take away sophia you know sophia was the youngest one right your favorite character so back in sicily see he's like chilling right outside of our window and honda's not chill about that sophia i love I don't know. I think Blair, they're all my favorite, except now Betty White, because I learned a lot about her nonsense. But, um, oh my gosh, Blanche Devereaux, stop. Sophia, Italy, or what did she, what did she say? Sicily, 1918, 1921. Picture it, Sicily, 1981. Stop it, I still have like... It is stupid that they're going to hit my window, though. Can you see? Sorry, guys. Give me one second. It's too much. <laughs> the guy just looked at me like he was going to have a heart attack. But he's like at my window, slamming on my window. You can't do that. Okay. Should we start Red Bar now? <laughs> Wait, did you guys see his face? I'll only be able to see it on the replay. That must have been funny. But I did not. I thought dude was going to be like, because there's a, I have a little garden like right here. And then there's like the sidewalk. I thought he was trimming like right there. But he was like literally at my window. I don't know if you guys saw that. I was like, hello, face. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's do red. Let's do red bar. I had it like pretty well positioned, I thought. <laughs> too much, too much. It's quiet now. You notice this, right? Sometimes you have to take action in life. This is just how it is. There's no reason for him to be up in my window. Like, real talk, there's nothing to trim there. Anyway. <laughs> Here we go. I don't know what happened. No, he, he, I got the email and then it let me watch it, but I think he just opened it for one day so okay. I could see the yeah. ad and then locked it. We were scared. We that. thought we had been paying for Brian Kellen's yeah. Patreon for like 16 months and I got really worried that that was the case, but it yeah. turns out we weren't. He just put the video up for free. Now it's not up for free anyway. The video was one of those you know, it, 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 on camera microphone audio thing, very echoing. He's standing against a white wall and he's going, hey everybody, I'm starting a new Patreon. Uh, I'm going to do Carcass, whatever you want. Um, me behind the scenes. Uh, life with my family. Uh, anything that Chris D'Elia has done in the last Hi, six Bendy. months that has gotten any traction, I'll be doing now too. Please sign up. I'm gonna give you the world. And you're going. He needs money. Don't fuck around. Especially when it comes to my home. He needs or money. Or anything it was I extremely love. pathetic. Don't be so close. You know, to me, when without you're that permission, age, come on now. You shouldn't have to beg. Uh, and excuse me. <laughs> what happened? I thought it was a dramatic pause, but that's not a dramatic pause. <laughs> Maybe this guy's taking retribution on my Wi Fi. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> okay, just so we know, we're at like 101 on season 20, episode 12. Sometimes I have to do this. I said 101, right? Okay. 
Yeah, you're going to come in my window like this without letting me know? No, I don't think so. <laughs> it's because we have... You guys the wrong girl's window, sir. What the hell's happening? Your other show. Come on now. Okay. We'll play for you out there about Hassan, his response to the... I don't know who Hassan, who Hassan is. Call out, remember... On our last episode, we played Hi, Sam Hyde baby. was in a boxing match, right? And at the end, he goes, I'm going to kill Hassan Piker. I'm going to come to his house. I'm going to kill him in L.A. Hassan actually got scared stupid from that. And he's banning anybody who mentions it. He's not rolling with the joke. This would be like if Sam Tripoli threatened me. And, you know, Wendy. you understand what I mean. Little do right, any of us go. know. Let's hear the rest of this. I'm an asset. Orgy, orgy. I don't get invited to orgies. What do you mean? I don't know. People just talk about the invite you or someone else. No, not Ethan's mind is blown. He's going, wait, an orgy? I don't understand. It. And Hassan kind of brought it up without thinking. Okay. Hassan, you went to an orgy assets, with Bill Barr. Right? How? Why? Where? Who invited you? Come to their window, Hassan either. didn't really think that far before he started bragging about this orgy. People are very up in arms about it's you saying that you were starting to like Hassan. I was just wanted to. Oh, I didn't finish that. That you meant. Beside Ethan, you're always going to like the other. Oh guy. no, politically, like politically, really guys. Right oh yeah, they're on the edge of their seat worrying, and I don't blame them. The whole world sits on the edge of their seat worrying. That the guy they watch is going to turn on them politically, right? And I don't blame you. But I'll say this. You never have to worry about Michael. I'm never going to turn <laughs> on you politically. You never have to Wendy, worry. Wendy, start hitting on me. I'm You're blessing. never going to be offended by me politically. <laughs> Please don't Let me address okay, this red bar question. Stop worrying about that. But it makes sense. Everywhere else you turn. Okay. Let me address this red bar question. Aspire. I don't know most of the people red bar is talking about. Is that a bad? Is that bad or good? Me neither. Uh, no, that's probably neither bad or good, I would say. Um, so. The only reason I know, so I found Red Bar, just to reiterate, <laughs> for those of you that don't know, the reason I found Red Bar is because I wanted to rescue my sister from the Illuminati or MK my, Mind Control or whatever I thought might be happening to her in 2020. This was my, <laughs> I mean, arguably fifth or seventh attempt in my life since I've been on this planet in trying to rescue my sister, right? So I texted my real sister, Sloan Bella, and I said, should I save her? Can I save her? Blah, blah, blah. This was in July. It was right before Keith passed away or in, and my birthday of 2019. I'm sorry, 2020. Keith passed in 2020. So it was early July, 2020. I messaged her on Instagram this, and she goes, oh, 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 Ashley, you're so sweet. Your sister cannot be saved like this. Um, so, but in my pursuit of trying to save her or figure out if she was like under MK Ultra mind control or in the Illuminati or whatever the fuck or whatever the fuck, um, and my terms were, that my sister will hate me through her own vo through her own volition. Like if she's under some kind of like control, I don't care what she's done to me, what she's done. To this is how I felt in 2020, just to be clear. Whatever she's done to me, whatever she's done to my father, I don't give a shit. Um, you know, if she's under some kind of thing, I will free her and she will hate me or whatever the fuck she does under her own terms or with her own free will basically. Um, and Sloan was like, oh, I'm like, no, you can't save her. But I still tried to. So I tried to find anything that I could about her. That's how I found Red Bar is in pursuit of saving my sister, which is really ironic. And so the first video I think I found of his was about, um, it's easy to find, was about how he basically like, and I've mentioned this before, like has a theory, I'll say that, that her engagement was not real. And when I 
put together what my mom told me and what I knew. And like, it was like, oh my God, this is weird. Like, I was, at first I found Owen Benjamin and I was like, you know, that's my little sister, like da 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 da, like super protective older sister styles, right? And um, then I found Red Bar and, I was, and Michael and Jules and I was like, hmm. <laughs> and then I watched like a few other videos and I was like, hmm. And there's something Mike said once, in season 20, I don't know which episode, but he goes, the truth and me have a lot in common. And it's very true. The truth and Mike, David have a lot in common and the truth and me have a lot in common. Um, so that on that, I think that might've been a tangent, maybe not, um, hopefully not, but here we go. Oh, so yeah, it's not good or bad. If you know, I like, I don't know most of the comments. Oh, quick answer to that. So because my sister that I don't speak to and I don't really know um, is like in that business is how I found him. But no, I find, and then, yeah. So I guess I found him through that process. And then I found him and Jules to be like individually super compelling and interesting. Um, I hope that answers the question, Aspire. Okay, ready? <laughs> they just want me to do the dance again. Good. Oh, Wendy, I love you. Let's see how far this thing leans back. Maybe as far back as Tim Dillon's chair. We don't know. Leans <laughs> back pretty far. Oh, that's kind of cool. I never did that. Yeah. Your friend has Jack Daniels, right? From Jack and Coke, right? Very popular drink amongst children. That's how Joe started. Joe didn't, doesn't really drink. He drinks Jack and Cokes with a straw like Kumia. Very light. He wants it to not be too spicy. So uh, for a long time, Gentleman Jack, this is where Jack Daniels goes, we need a promotion. We need something to get these bottles moving. What could excite people? I love they you, make Wendy. one that's like three dollars more. Gentlemen's Jack, aged for one more year. This is good. So you don't really know, but then Buffalo Trace came. They gave him some education, and now he thinks Buffalo Trace is like the only guy in town. And he really, every time somebody brings him a different liquor, it's oh, Buffalo Trace, Buffalo Trace. I don't know how obligated. Joe is with Buffalo Trace, how how much he has to follow their, you know, uh, guidelines for the ad deal that they've done. But um, this was interesting and it's going to make more sense yo, coming yo. up when we watch Mark Norman's uh, Protect Our Parks episode coming up next because Mark Norman and Sam Morell just came out with their own whiskey called Bodega Rat or something. What is it called? Bodega Cat. Bodega Cat. So Mark Norman and uh, Sam Morell, fresh off his new special at the Den in Chicago, uh, they came out with their own whiskey called Bodega Cat. We're going to learn about that today. I've got my bottle on pre-order. I don't think it's out for the public yet, but we will do a taste test here. But then Brendan comes in. I guess, Jules, you said he's had this whiskey for a while. It's called Tiger Thick. Tiger Thick, bro. You know, he couldn't have named it the after name his son. son and Wait, his son's name is about... Tiger? Yeah. And it could... Really? Is that his name? You don't know about this? I don't know their names, bro. Is it the fighter in the what game? I don't need their name. Friends? Trust me, I don't like need their names. It's just like how I don't need this to know is... porn stars' actual names. As long as I got the fucking videos. <laughs> Why didn't he call September it Tiger Shakes? Could you imagine he makes a shaker bottle named um... after his son? Imagine that. Okay, so Bell. Brendan has his own whiskey, Never. too. So let's watch Joe. And Joe is kind of mean to his friend, so he's already kind of insulted Brian. And then here comes uh, Brendan with his new whiskey. And Joe says more insulting stuff. And we've seen this time and time again where Joe kind of insults his friend's special promotions. Have you seen this? It's almost like he knows how bullshit they are. 
so he can't really promote it to you with a straight face. He feels guilt, right? So he can't really do it with a straight face, so he has to, like, make fun of it. Meanwhile, Joe is selling everything under the sun. Remember, I, if you're on Instagram, you'll be just hit with, like, a targeted ad from some, like, company that makes tent steaks. And it's Joe Rogan talking about him on the show. I mean, really, he's doing, like, 40 to 50 brand deals at any given time. Thank you, so it's strange. Whenever somebody wants to promote something on Joe's show, he's always got to shit on it. Here it comes. Tiger, what is it called? Tiger Thick Which is the name is. of Brandon's whiskey. Which, by the way, if anyone wants to buy me a bottle, send it to the P.O. Box. I'll pay you back. Sounds Thank delicious. Thank you, moderators. I can Would barely love to taste. See. I'm a whiskey guy, Evelyn. right? All right, we let's hear it. Tiger Thick. This is from like a week ago. I get caught up in them. How weird is that statement? <laughs> that's a fact. By the way, that's a certified. That's a fact. No way he makes money. You guys are talking about that's a fact. Oh my god! Give me your fucking glass. You're gonna pull you some tiger thick. Hey, tiger hey, thick. Red bar is watching. Worst name ever. Come on. Very good whiskey with the worst fucking name ever. Named after his son, and his brand is called Thick, right? T h i c c c c c c c c c. Boy Productions. Nice. So you're just bashing his name. You know, that's like, I, there's plenty to bash. Nobody comes into your studio, Joe, and makes fun of the million things that we could make fun of. Remember the Red Room? Every guest, even Kanye, sat in that Red Room going, oh, I like even the Even Kanye. Because you're nice. You know, they're nice to you. He can't do the favor back, meaning he's nervous about today. Okay, so let's see. He's pouring some tiger Wendy, thick. Will he, he like it? Your grandma, oh, how you? dare you! It's Where the best name, but the whiskey's very oh, fucking good. What's the name? Tiger, tiger thick. thick. Yeah, it's right. It's, it's bourbon and son, Japanese thick. whiskey mixed. But it's yeah. legit whiskey. Yeah. Oh, very good. Okay, okay, whiskey legit. Mixed. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, I, mean, I know a lot of people that have like the alcohol brand, but it's not legit. This is really whoa. I know a lot of people that have alcohol brands. Could he be talking about Bodega Cat? Mark Norman and Sam Morell's new Hi, whiskey. Smarty. And by the way, this guy's putting his name on everything. I just I'm got somebody to send me the Kill Cliff energy <laughs> drink with Joe Rogan with his heads of pineapple now because it's pineapple flavored. He'll sell his name to anybody. So I don't know why you're going around making fun of people. <laughs> and by the way, you got enough money where you don't need to take on low rent brand deals like that okay so let's see he's gonna take a sick and then we'll go to some uh choice codes bro coming out there cheers guys thank you to the moderators because i can't really see the chat it's been forever holy shit let the trolls roll if they put the pandemic and decide to show it's like okay so that's how john normally takes some whiskey right we just saw him he uh it was straight into the glass this is for later remember this he poured it straight into the glass with a circle ice cube, and he goes, and he was able to talk. No faces made, right? And here they go. How long's it been? Uh, so remember the whiskey part for later. How long has it been? Let's see, boys. Very legit. Yeah. Are we on air? Cheers, 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 boys. The, oh, cheers. the crew is back. Hey. Ooh, they don't look happy. They don't like. Hey, it's been forever. Holy shit. Yeah. What about four years? Wow. Uh, what about the pandemic? And oh yeah, the pandemic. Like, that was it. We didn't do one. You see, Joe what? trying to get. Oh yeah, that pandemic, huh? Well, you saw all your other friends. You couldn't wait. You were the first person breaking out of the lockdowns. Remember that? Joe was the very first <laughs> person to step over the line from house to outside while everybody else was in the ICU. Joe was the first person who needed to break the lockdown uh, to go out and party, remember? So the COVID didn't hold you back. The rape and the Brendan Schaub and also Eddie Bravo with the Alex Jones and Spotify, it was all, you couldn't be around your three best friends. (laughs) They were bad for business. And now he's going to blame COVID, you know, the disease that he doesn't even find to be real. It's only when it's convenient for him. It's hard because, like, we'd have to get one that I wasn't working, right? So I work all the North American ones. And you're in Austin. We're doing it that much. Oh, there. I'm here now. They're all helping them out. So it's yeah. like everyone has to be in the town. Time, you're not oh, working. Oh, yeah. together. It's, it's, See, and they all have to. <laughs> and everyone had to be in town. And yes, it was very hard. Believe me, I couldn't even get out of my driveway most of those times. Uh, yes, Joe. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at Callan's face. Does this look? Hold on, we gotta wait for it. See this? I hate this Spotify. We might have to start recording Spotify this really sucks. and it's then doing it because crazy. look at that. Is someone to use it? So there like is. Oh yeah, it's the worst. Very confident. 
He don't look like this in a special. We'll com we'll compare it. Take a mental uh, screenshot of that. All right, let's hear a little bit more. Lots of excuses. Flowing. 1987. 1987. <laughs> <laughs> Last time, boys. Good to see you guys. Was I just got pubes. <laughs> <laughs> it was sometime Come in back. 2020. Full sip for sure. No, I don't no think way. so, Eddie. No, no way. way. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah? yeah. 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 We did one during the pandemic. That's when Callum blew the whistle and started every oh. problem. Oh, Fuck, that's right. Dude. You blew the Aztec death whistle. Yes. Right oh, now. No, no, no. no. <laughs> that wasn't fun. Dude, you cost all this. I, I apologize Bro, to everybody. I got that okay, thing. Now they're all overcompensating for being losers. Got it. Now you right. can go to 3720. This yeah. is just a little part that I. You that know was funny. Oh, they're going to talk about my buddy. Andrew Let's Tate. Just say Joe has a unique take on Tate. Really? A Tate take. So even the these guys know see. about my Andrew Tate. I brought Tate into this world. Well, Michaela did. Well, well Michaela give did. Give credit where it's due. <laughs> Michaela brought Tate into this world, and then I brought Tate into this world, too. You guys don't block <laughs> okay, anyone. Okay, so please. this is 3720. And I really love how Tate's been handling this. You know, very responsible. Tate goes after Logan Paul again today. I've got clips from that. We can yeah, 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 yeah. She's trying to rush us, folks. <laughs> no, I'm not. She's trying to rush us. I just want to make sure we get everything She's in. Trying to rush She's us, talking right? shit about me. 3720, okay. 3720. Sorry, guys. I'm hammered. <laughs> okay, 3720. Sorry. Not good at Spotify. Just an older guy. No one's good at Spotify. Uh, here we go. Spotify 3715. Pretty close, bro. Friendly. Here we go. Tate talking. You're going to rouse the, the powers that be. Why can't yeah, they no, speak they this word, though? They, they, they send me shit and they go, you keep talking this shit. We're about to pull your fucking guy. They, they warn me. Say like, guys, you know, just at least you're not there your date. Like they, they see his Who do you, Who's the most likable guy it's here like for you, Gino's Jules? Eddie Bravo? Out of the four? Probably the most honest, right? The original White Claw Gabe. Yeah, the original White Claw Gabe. I love that. <laughs> Eddie Bravo, did you guys know, is White Claw Gabe. So, uh, okay, good. We got that out of the way. Let's hear about uh, Tate. Assets. This is his financial well, banking. He was saying things about women that he was saying that, like, what, what, what did he say that specifically got them triggered? You know, this well, is funny. Jules made a great point to me the other day. Every time people talk about Tate, they like did no planning. So people would be like, oh man, Tate, he did had to go. I mean, he was terrible. Oh, what but, I heard about yeah, Tate, by the way, he guys, did terrible was things that to he women got like, kicked uh, off of every social media thing. Uh, That's all I heard. We also have Jules in the house. Oh, I'm so sorry. I screwed that up. Hold on. But they'll be like, yeah, what did Tate do? And they'll be like, ah, uh, yeah, he's done so many bad things. Like, uh, uh, well, for one, he said, he said that, like, he'd rather have a male pilot. Are you in Greece? Yeah, tons of bad stuff. I mean, really, no. like, really bad stuff about women. Like, uh, one time he said that he didn't think they were, like, as good at driving, I think. So they never can really recall <laughs> anything bad that Tate's done. You know, they never can recall it, which is interesting to me. And I feel like if somebody's bad, they're a fool you should be able to list 10 bad things about them as soon as somebody asks. But when it comes to <laughs> Tate, bad things. they all kind of go, yeah. oh, yeah, dude, they had to do it. They had to get him off social What's media. Up, Trust me, because he was like... He's still in Greece? Um, what was he like? Yeah, the female airplane stuff. And I think <laughs> there was the more. female airplane <laughs> And I think something about human, and they never know. I think and it's something like, about human trafficking. You should probably think about it for two seconds before you say that you agree. I, and by the way, I don't agree with his banning. Not yet. Not yet. And I was on the, uh, the I, I mean, I was the one being attacked. Thousands of messages a day from Tate supporters saying they want me dead. They're coming to get me with a gun. You got to understand when death threats are funny and when they're serious. And Tate's death threats are funny. Tate is a nice, loving guy. He didn't mean no harm. And the video is fake. Here, here's the other funny. thing. This beating video that went around the internet, right? Now, do I believe it's real? Maybe. There is a video of Andrew Tate going around beating up a woman, and she's screaming, right? Well, Andrew Tate has come clean, and he said that video is from role-playing. I like it rough and dirty, which is sick, by the way. 
Thank you, moderators. Let the trolls do their thing. But then the girl, here's the interesting part, because then he watched, you talked about Andrew Tate for six months straight, but could you be bothered to watch his 45 minute going away video? No, you refuse because you're headline readers, you're Twitter trenders. You don't look into nothing. You just see what everybody else is saying, and then you kind of follow along. Be careful, I bite back. But I watched the whole video, and they brought on the girl from the beat up video. And she said, oh, golly, gosh, that was role playing. It was all fake. And I'm the girl from the video. And I just wanted to clear the ears. I mean, this really happened. Now, maybe this Tristan is a great had a talk, Uzi right? pointed at her. Maybe. Frame. But it's here's awesome. the deal. And, and this is all like Ethan Klein needs to know. Like Ethan, all the, the girl thing. from the video is saying it was fake. Sorry, you got no case here. OK, <laughs> but Ethan Klein and Helen, you'll see Tate sue with them or he's planning to sue them. See, I'm even falling for the clickbait now because everybody's saying Ethan got sued. Uh, Tate sent Ethan Klein and Gila a cease and desist for that clip we showed you last week where they said, um, oh, he does human traffic. He does. <laughs> well, it, it's not true. He I mean, does, it hasn't been does. proven at least. <laughs> you know, there's no evidence of him human trafficking yet. So you yes. can't really go on and say he has done this. And that's why it's okay to ban him from social media. I mean, there's no proof of that. If you want to do it that way, fine. But then we got to ban Chris D'Elia, Brian Callen, everybody else who's just been accused needs to be fully banned as well, if that's the story. So I'm a free speecher. I'm not a deplatformer. You know, I want to deplatform a couple people. Ethan Klein, I want to deplatform. I do. I want him not able to work YouTube ever again. I think that would be very funny. But I like to deplatform people for comedy reasons and for vindication, vindictive reasons, not because personal gain, personal gain, loves. Is it L A U V E S? Loves. I like that. So, uh, mm -hmm. but Ethan Klein is double down. We'll show you these clips, and I really hope Tate sues. You know, now <laughs> the whole internet sues now. <laughs> The whole internet fights now physically. It's getting crazy out there. And Red Bar's still nice. Okay, let's see uh, what happens here. Joe not looking too good with his accused rape friend. He thought maybe it would just click, but you know what? Too much time has passed, huh? Joe, you don't really like these losers anymore, do you? Let's see what it's basically a saying misogyny. Tate, look, Tate. He plays a lot. part of it is like a character, yes. and part of it he's a legit world champion kickboxer who's a hard platforming him who, who doesn't buy any pussy bullshit. And, and, and look at that. So Joe Rogan's take so far is Andrew Tate is a world kickboxing champion <laughs> who don't take any bull. <laughs> and I believe he said this to his daughter, right? Is that coming up? up? Listen to this. This is what Joe he tells his daughter so after the whole world things, is going, right? why is Andrew Tate bad? He says this. That's what's resonating with young people. And he's also pro-Trump. The worry is that this. he is going to, the kids are going to listen to him because he's he's big on TikTok. My 12-year-old and my 14-year-old asked me about Andrew Tate. And what'd, you say? Year old what'd, you say? what'd you say? I said he's a legit world champion kickboxer. <laughs> I, go, I like him a lot. Why do you like him? I, I like, like him a lot? <laughs> He's a world champion kickboxer. kickboxer. I like him a lot. Why do you like him? <laughs> Your daughter shouldn't be liking him. I mean, I think his daughter's 12 years old. <laughs> she is 12. Um, his other daughter, daughter surely shouldn't be liking him. I do like that shirt. What's I feel like he's like? gained weight, if anything. What like? What's this? Why did you say his other daughter and you start doing this? Like, look at Why do you start doing see. stuff like that, Mike? Why do you start doing this? He kind of always talking about his other daughter. and good to me. I know he was dealing with some stuff. Why do you start doing that? Why do you start thinking about the movie? No. When you start thinking. It's a joke. <laughs> She's half black. so It's what somebody who's crazy would do. All that stuff. Not a black person. It's sick. Sick. So oh uh, here's so Joe. And of course, sometimes. you know, this is doesn't really add up with what the rest of the Internet's doing. I, that's why I thought it was so funny. Well, he always talks about Samati. As like soon as Tate got his social media his ban, they're all. And like, oh, I think he, he was right to be. I mean, Ethan Klein has been celebrating his so maybe deep like platform. That one looks Logan bigger. Paul did a think, crazy switcheroo that we're going to show you. One of the more disgusting Logan cozy, Paul right? moments turning on Chicago, Tate. I think. And regardless, so if like, you get where I'm coming from, 
Logan Paul. The reason he don't like Tay, well, we're going to tell you coming up, but the, here's a hint. He wants to here's be a hint. Tate. I'll explain later, but let's hear more of Joe Rogan's thoughts on what is it called? Little Man Tate? Nobody does that. Little Man Tate, huh? It's right there. Too That's easy too for mean. everybody? Too easy. Too mean. Got it. All right. I like Tate. Tate Maybe Little to me, Man Callan, though. I would like if somebody could sponsor my trip to Romania. I'll go to Romania with you guys. To go see Tate. Imagine me spending oh, a week with Tate, like I dub spent with Romania? Sam Hyde. So funny. <laughs> Nervously videotaping him and trying to challenge him. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> I'd be hanging with Tate. I'd be jet skiing. Is You'd Tate see me in even Romania? like a good kickboxer? <laughs> Can you jet ski in this outfit? Yeah. Water ski. Okay, let's hear some more. Ask him. They said he says a lot of funny stuff on on Twitter and TikTok. Really? It's the TikTok thing because the TikTok algorithm. He did something where he started something where you like join his group and then you're supposed to like post stuff. It's brilliant. That's how he gets followers. But I was wondering something. He was smart because he's a brilliant man. Yeah. My my thing is really in man. Cancel him and you know take him away. And they're like, we should look up to that. Okay, then who should we look up to? Oh! <laughs> Did you hear what I hear? Sorry. Did you hear you what got I hear? Yeah, this is why it's Okay, Brendan so that's Schaub. Brendan Schaub. And we know about him. So we know about that. And thank you guys. Today was just like a tomboy day. So I'm just like in my sweats and my golden girls top. I hope you guys are amazing. I couldn't read the chat, but I will read it. I love re- I love watching the replay of the chat. Um, is Mike losing weight? I don't think, he, I mean, I said this. I don't like to talk over him sometimes. I don't know how much you guys can hear sometimes when I say anything when he's talking. Um, but I think he's like looked the same, you know, I don't know. What did you retract, Angela? Lambrose. Uh, oh, the connection is falling apart. You're in Greece. Oh my gosh. Um, don't agree. Oh, Greece doesn't agree with the live streams. Streams, I guess. Well, you should be having fun on the islands in Greece anyway. No. Um, the jacket looks bigger. I think. Well, he was mentioning in one season, uh, one episode this season, like, like how much he's thinking about his shirts and stuff, and like. <laughs> Maybe that one was like a last minute thing. I I saw what you mean. It looked a little big, but sometimes there are things that are like designed to look a little big. You know what I mean? Oh, it's very warm in Greece. Awesome. It's very warm here too. (laughs) I was explaining my whole hair thing before this, Samati, but you weren't here. Because you were probably hanging out with Willow Beans. Samati got a new dog. I'm like obsessed. She's an elk hound. She's an elk hound shepherd, right? She's adorable. They had their two week anniversary last Sunday. Um, <laughs> okay, I'll tell you quickly, quick, 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 how I didn't go to Greece one time. I was at my friend's wedding in Switzerland in Geneva and the plan was to all meet in the lobby the next day, I actually spent the evening in, I need water now. I spent the evening in um, in Geneva in my friend's apartment. It was all like private planes and stuff. We're going to go tomorrow to Mykonos um, meet in the lobby at like 2 p.m. Geneva time. So I had flown from L.A. and like basically not slept and like went to my friend's wedding. And so I was sleeping that night, like for the first time in two days, which was fine. Like I'm used to like getting like jet lag and stuff but then the next morning I, you guys I was just gonna say girl <laughs> I just remember like talking to my friend and it was she had just gotten married like her wedding was like a huge thing and so I guess they all decided to go to Lyon and then to Mikos um all by private planes and so I was supposed to meet in the lobby at 11 a.m to go to Lyon and then to Mykonos and all there's like four different private planes and I woke up at like three o'clock. I might set my alarm for two or something like this, but I woke up at like three and everyone was gone. And like the, like, like the 
fucking daughter of Kuwait or like the 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 prince of Kuwait's daughter was like texting me like can you get on this flight to Lyon I'm like uh I just woke up in my hotel room I'm like exhausted like I thought we were meeting down in the hotel room like now I would have only been like 15 minutes late Arab styles as you all have taught me <laughs> so my friend was already in Mykonos who got married, whose wedding that I was there for. And she's like, well, do you want to get on the flight to Lyon or do you just want to go back to LA? And at that point I was kind of like feeling so, I like, I literally was like, I felt so much anxiety from waking up. Like I felt like I had missed the ball, but I didn't, you know, I just was getting sleep that was not, you know, not available to me <laughs> for the 24 hours that I flew to Gen Geneva from LA. And then the wedding was that day. And I left the wedding early and I like kind of napped a little, but then I like went and hung out at their hotel room until like four or 5 a.m. So I didn't really get how like they were all ready at 11 a.m. and like already on planes to Leon and Mykonos, but they were. So um, that's how I miss going to Greece and if this bitch wants to keep wearing her cement shoes, the uppercut is coming. <laughs> okay, see you guys later. I love you. Bye. Oh, you know what I can do? Because YouTube holds the chat for like, I don't know, 12 to 24 hours. Like, what are they doing with the chat? Real talk. But I can put it on for myself and see as much as I can see. Creepy. Okay. I love you guys so much. If you didn't see the beginning of this, you will see. If you rewind it, you'll see me very aggressively talking to a man that should not have been so close to my window. That's a whole other story. All right. Hey, Ryan Paradise. Love you. You have the best energy, by the way. I just want to tell you that. Hey, Marcus. I love you guys. Bye. Jazz hands. Oh, late.